It's when we're limited on where we can go and what we can do and also the amount of time we've got to do it in that many of us begin to reflect on some of the adventures we've been on and the ones that we can only dream about. Now, on EMBN, we have been to some truly incredible places and ridden some breathtaking trails. And I say breathtaking quite literally because we're talking longer and steeper, both up and down. And e-bikes, well, they just let you push the comfort zone that little bit further. Now, pretty much every trip we've ever been on has involved some kind of unplanned event. And we've never really spoken about these very much, not that is until today. And in this video, we're gonna reveal some of the untold stories. The ones such as when we went to a bothy, but simply forgot to put our batteries on charge before we went to bed because we got a bit too involved in the local hostelry. Now, very often charging has been less of a concern than actually making it through the day. And there have been many, many massive days. One particular day that springs to mind is the lakes trip with Adam Brayton. High, wild, incredibly cold and wet, a real test of fitness, technical skill, and positive thinking. Could we actually do the massive loop in one day? Uh, another puncture on the descent into Ennerdale has, has put us back on time. Uh, now halfway up Black Sail Pass, uh, I'm cold, I'm wet, slightly miserable. I'm glad he's laughing. I'm in a ditch. Uh, <laughs> we are, we're at three o'clock. Um, we're going to get to Wasdale. So we've got the rest of this pass to do, a big descent, yeah. Wasdale head, and then a big climb, a big climb at the end of the day. It's three o'clock, Brayton. Three o'clock. Yeah, we're not doing good, eh? We sat in the Wasdale head, weighing it up, and went for it. So, in rapidly fading daylight, we slipped up Stihead Pass in darkening skies. That was a close call. Now, I'd actually eyed up the lake sloop on a previous trip that I'd done with my wife. Now, that was quite different and slightly more comfortable. The wife, well, she pretty much brought everything with her, the whole wardrobe and bathroom, with only the e-bike charger replacing the hair straighteners. I think that's the great thing, is mixing the trips up. You definitely can do these trips and still have a five-star breakfast. And of course, I guess there have been some less comfortable moments, such as the trip that I did with Doddy, five star versus roughing it. Doddy, well, he got a four poster bed and all I got was a bit of grassland and some even better company. Yes, that really did happen. I woke up with a sheep with dew on my sleeping bag. And of course, what about the trails we rode over those two days? Absolutely spectacular. Uh, and oh, of course, then there was the woman, the woman who, the drunk woman who stole our bike whilst we're recording the show. Can I have a go? Ma'am. Dude, this is a really bad idea. Is it? Yes. Is it a bad idea? Well, why didn't you tell me then? Where's she gone now then? Straight to a &E, I reckon. Is that good? Is there a woman on a bike? Right, I think it's time to go and sit down. I'm going to take that bike off you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, many of our trips have been multi-day, but some have been really intense one-day epics. The Rocher de Roque Brune is a huge piece of red sandstone just north of Saint-Tropez. That day, well, it was an aborted attempt simply because it was too steep, too dangerous, and even though it was only February, too hot. But boy, did we take in some amazing slab work. So 
we've just come around the corner and we've got ahead of us something which looks pretty inaccessible. I can hear some chains dangling up there in the distance with some walkers getting up there. Uh, I'm thinking we get to the top and it's all, all it's going to be is a tourist shot anyway. So I reckon we just get to the top, take the snap, come back down, leave the bike here and then we can crack on down some of the nice single track down the bottom of the hills. And then of course there are the unknown trips, the ones where we didn't quite know whether we were going to make it or not. And I suppose those have been quite a frequent theme. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be an adventure otherwise, although I'm sure some of the filmers might have a different take on that. And also when you do these big trips, it's quite difficult not to get carried away, especially if you're riding with maybe some of the world's fastest races. The trip we did from the Alp Maritim down to the Mediterranean with Fabian Burrell, Scott Sharples and Nico Antonios. Well, that was pretty high octane. And the night after, but I'd rather not go there. Of course, an adventure can simply be a day out, a day out in the Surrey Hills, a bit like the one we did with Brendan Fairclough, Ollie Wilkins and Bernard Kerr. Not that that was simple, but just a different kind of adventure. Great coffee and pasties too. What about the multi-day trips? What about battery worries? What about characters we've met? What about then when things don't quite go to plan? When we rode from France to Italy on a high level route, we took Roberto Vanasse, two new hips. He was pretty old, but then again, we met some even older people way up in the hills on e-bikes. You said back there that it was round the corner. Yeah. Now he's come round the corner and there's another mountain yeah. to climb. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> it's not really a downhill, but it's okay. I'm, gl I'm glad you, you are uh, fit. <laughs> I'm glad you got a sense of humour, uh, uh, Roberto. I'm on red, right? So I know that I've got about one kilometre and about 200 feet of climbing left. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to push a bit more and I'll save my last bit of battery for that. Yeah, that, that summit. When you are in the top, then it's only downhill. So you promise? Say that I camera. promise. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow feel like I started recording this again in half an hour's time. That trip was all about last minute decisions, having to work out other ways to get through it. We had ended up early autumn in a refuge, all bit with great food and wine, but somehow we descended lower than we had planned, way lower, and the numbers simply didn't add up. So we had to call in a local hunter to winch us up the mountain before the storm came in and the wolves came out. Now, when it comes to trips not adding up, one certainly does come to mind, and that's the trip to Noidat with Hannah Barnes. Things that we didn't talk about on that trip were such things as the 5 a.m. taxi drive, the kamikaze taxi drive to the end of the wilderness by a guy who I'm certain wanted to finish us off before we'd even started. And then of course there was the deer stalker who gave us directions and who we didn't find out till later was actually the owner of the whole Neudart estate. And also that broken German climber who had a very badly damaged broken ankle and he was relying on us to get the message out to get rescue.
What we also didn't reveal was just how much tension was in the group as we hit the river crossing with another mountain to climb and another storm to ride. You know, it's funny how we've got to this point and we haven't even spoken about the Alps yet. And one trip that really comes to mind is the Shimano e-bike experience, a multi-day adventure across the Dolomites. And during that trip, you can actually ride, you could test ride any e-mountain bike you want from a variety of brands. The food is five star and the views were simply mind blowing. And finally, the tour of Mont Blanc, three days around Europe's highest mountain, an unforgettable, well, it was a race, not just a trip. 120 kilometers per day, 16,000 feet of climbing and descending on probably the most amazing single track I have ever ridden. Uh, it was quite scary, it was pretty intense, and we had 2,000 watt hours of battery per day, so you had to manage those. Obviously, I was 90 kilos, my uh, sparring partner on that trip was 50 kilos, so the banter and the strategy between us was just a great thing to, to work out each day. And probably one of the highlights of our trips uh, on EMBN. So adventures, we've had many, and at the moment, during these challenging times, we can only dream about the ones that we want to go on. Let us know what adventures you've been on or ones that, which you'd like to go on. Let us know in the comments down below. In the meantime, don't forget to follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time.